from the palms of my hands. Crepuscule Magica. Soon, very soon, the people of this town will be throwing their annual festival. And I, Count Nevermore! have a very special surprise waiting for all of them. Yes, by the festival's end, all of the children of this town will belong, will belong to, to me. me. And as for the rest of the town, they will all be driven mad. mad. They, will they will all be, be driven, driven mad. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Now, several strange reports have been coming in from across the country, all of which involve a modern-day carnival, whereby both carnival workers and carnival goers alike suggest the existence of a mysterious being. This being not only haunts their dreams, but is also responsible for numerous mechanical mishaps. But most disturbing of all, this strange being is allegedly the harborer of several dozen missing children. So for the sake of this year's county fair, we at the LA Times News want to know. Who is Count Nevermore? Okay. Hello, sir. We're here on behalf, on behalf of the Creative Arts Committee. You have a couple of minutes of, uh, you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure. What's your name? Dennis Merriman. Okay. How long have you been uh, working with the carnival? For three weeks. For three weeks? So, Dennis, um, what ride do you operate here at the uh, carnival festival? Um, I run the Abology. Um, that's what it's called. It's got, it's a big octopus with the fish going around on these rails. Um, that's all it is. The black um, arms have wheels. They sat in these rails. And then the octopus goes on top of them, the legs, and then the fish hooks up to the black uh, wheels. And they just kind of rotate. Kind of rotates around in a circle? Is it sort of like a, sort of like a um, merry-go-round? Um, what's your favorite part so far about being with the festival, the carnival? Uh, meeting new people. Uh, got great workers. Um, I just like to see new places. Do you ever get to, like, do you get a lot of sleep? Okay, what's your name? Sasha. Okay, my name is Ronnie Sasha. Nice to meet you. Okay, so you have been doing this carnival for how long? Since I was little. I was raised out here. Where are you from originally? Bay City. Oh, so you don't live very far from here. That's just like a, a shot up in Bay City, huh? What's your favorite part about being with the festival? Um, 
really know. You don't really know what to expect, I guess. What's the strangest thing in your five, six years of being a, a festival worker? What's the strangest thing that has ever happened that you've ever experienced? Wow. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Kim. Kim? Now, how long have you been working for the festival? Seven years. Well, what's your favorite part about working with the festival and traveling around? The traveling, seeing different people. Ever met any interesting characters that, you know, are memorable? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, is, is it pretty tough getting sleep when you're on the road all the time? Oh, yeah. It's different. It's exhausting. I can tell you that. You get tiring? Oh, yeah, very. Do you, do you get enough sleep, you think? Barely. When I was a kid, I used to have dreams about being a carnival worker, no doubt, yeah. And so, have you ever had, like, any dreams that come to mind that you remember from being when you were on the road? I have a lot of dreams about wacky dreams about my, the rides falling apart and people getting hurt on them. Yeah, I, I had, uh, one of the people I talked to earlier said that they had a dream about one of the rides falling apart um, or exploding or something. Yeah, them dreams happen a lot out here. Really? Now, is that, is that really scary when you have those? Are they nightmares or are they kind of just, oh, I had that dream again where the ride blew up? Well, it's pretty scary when you dream something like that. I bet, I bet. What is the strangest thing, what is the strangest thing that you've ever seen at this carnival ever? Well, I didn't see it. I went through it. I electrocuted myself. <laughs> really? You ele how did, now, how did that happen? Well, I was plugging in my lead line, and I wasn't wearing no shoes. <laughs> Nobody told me I had to. <laughs> wow, so now you were plugging in your lead line for what exactly? My wagon, my elephant ear wagon. So for the elephant ear wagon, you're plugging in your lead line. You're not wearing any shoes because you're just kind of chilling and relaxing that day. Mm -hmm. And then next thing you know, you got electrocuted? I zapped myself pretty good. No. Yeah. You zapped yourself pretty good. Yes. <laughs> now, how does that happen when you when you plug it in? How does the electricity get to you? Through a generator. Oh, I see. So the generator, you didn't have any shoes, so there was no ground, right. and so you got electric. Yep. Wow. Now, now were you okay? You didn't get hurt or anything? No. I was fine. It was just a, like a... A rush. <laughs> a, a rush. A good rush? Bad rush? Good one, actually. You actually enjoyed the rush of the electricity going through? Yeah. Okay, and then maybe you had a dream that night that a ride like exploded or, or fell apart. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Probably. Okay, now have you ever heard of the name Count Nevermore?